Good morning. Afternoon, evening, you know, whenever it happens to be that you catch this video. Right now it's 5.53 in the morning, Eastern Time, on Thursday, March 11th. I've been up for like two hours already. That's okay. I Figured it's as good a time as any to throw down some cards for Virgo for their Julian New Year reading. And you're probably asking yourself, what's the Julian New Year? Well, before we switched over to the Gregorian calendar, which we're on now, New Year's was celebrated between the 25th of March and the 1st of April. Makes sense, right? Springtime, things coming new, Pisces shifting into Aries, the sun comes out again, you know, makes sense to me. I don't know why we do it the last week in December now, so, but I don't make decisions like that. That wasn't part of my journey, so, anyhow, this reading is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate, well, you can throw it in the circular file and forget it ever happened. That's fine. It's not going to resonate with every Virgo. So. Or you can check your moon rising or Venus signs. Whatever you want to do. I don't twist anybody's arm. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa and play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. Okay. One more shuffle. Pardon me. Virgo theme of your reading. Oh. Hmm. The Hanged Man Upright, the Four of Cups Reversed. Some of you Some of you may be emotionally stuck and just kind of ignoring what the universe is trying to hand you. I think some of you could very well be very stuck on the past and some spilled cups. This is the coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't card. All right. What were you supposed to take out of last year, Virgo? Three of Wands. Perhaps something you waited for finally came. Or you could still be waiting at the dock. I don't know. What was your shining moment? Ace of Swords reversed. You may have cut off communication with someone. What did you have to let go of? Eight of Cups. Huh. That's the pack it up and moving on card. Some of you may have had to leave something behind. What can you expect this year? King of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Possible communication from an air sign. Big communication. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be. The only, the only one of the major arcana we have at this point is Pisces with the Hanged Man, so. 
If it means something, okay. If it doesn't, throw it out. Get rid of it. The signs they're associated with aren't important unless you put importance into them. It's the energy being thrown off by the card. What's the challenge for this year? The lovers. Making that connection. Also a card of Gemini. This could be a communication that you cut off. Something you had to walk away from. We, are, we still are in the Mercury retrograde post shadow. So, I don't know. And this is good for, well, all the zodiac signs. So, this could happen at any point this year. I don't know. How do you overcome this challenge? Five of swords. Lots of swords. Wow. Picking up pieces. It's a card of change. This could be you changing the way you think, Virgo. A lot of air energy. A little bit of water. A little bit of fire. A lot of air. What's the focus during this transition period? So, Pisces into Aries. Two of Cups. A lover's and a two of cups. Hmm. Something you're ignoring. What are you ignoring? You're ignoring a cup. How to handle this transition. The magician reversed. We're going to get some clarity on that bad boy. I just got a weird vibe off that card. Okay, what am I clarifying with today? Gilded deck, I like you. Okay. You want to get some clarity for the cards on the table for Virgo, please? Clarity on the cards on the table for Virgo. Weird chill. Ooh. Empress reversed, fool reversed. We're finding a hangman and a four of cups reversed. Wow. You have a hard time trusting yourself at this point. Trusting your own judgment.
There may have been a loss of a child involved in this. For those of you that part resonates with, I'm deeply sorry. I feel that pain. Why is the Three of Wands here? For what Virgo was supposed to take out of last year. Why is the Three of Wands here? I don't think I'm going to clarify every card. I don't have to. I'm just going to clarify the ones that stick out like sore thumbs. You fell out. You were dropped. Page of Pentacles reversed. I don't know. Should I take it? I think I'm going to take it. Page of Wands reversed. You waited a while. I think at some point you stopped waiting. Some of you could have been waiting for an apology. An apology you never received. Wow. Okay. Okay, one more on that. Okay, I'll take two. Six cups reversed, three cups reversed, yeah. Disconnects with family, disconnects with friends, salty feelings. Cuts off in communication, walking away, moving on. Don't trust your judgment anymore. Why is the King of Swords here for what to expect for this year? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here for what Virgo can expect from this year? Queen of Swords flew out. Okay. That's interesting. Truth. Communication. Somebody could well come back in speaking truth. They might communicate that apology. Can I get one more on that? One more. One more. Four of Wands. Celebration, union, doors opening. Stability returning. 
Okay. That's awesome. One card on the lovers, please. Why is the lovers here for the challenge for the new year? One card. Thank you. Six of Swords. Lots of swords, guys. Split story for Virgo. You can't move on to new and better things if you're holding on to stuff from the past. You can't move forward and start over an old relationship if you're holding on to the baggage from the past. A clean slate means exactly that, a clean slate. So your challenge is going to be moving forward either with an old lover or a new one. If we're talking relationship-wise. The lover's card represents soulmates. I mean, this could be communication with friends. This is very open-ended. Why is the Five of Swords here for how to overcome this challenge? Three of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. I got two upside down threes, guys. Maybe one more on that. One more. Thank you. Five of Wands. Conflict. <sighs> Swords of communication. Wands of passion, confrontation. That's interesting. Some of you may have a battle going on within yourself. Usually this, this indicates confrontation with other people. Virgo. My, my, my. One more on that. So I don't see it coming back together. You may have to accept that it's not going to come back together. I dropped you. You did not fall out by yourself. Nine of Pentacles. There we go. That makes more sense now.
Pardon me. It's picking up the pieces and fighting that internal battle. Acceptance that it's not going to come back together. And finding your independence again. It's how you overcome this challenge. Being comfortable in your own skin again. So you can move forward from your past and find this beautiful connection. You gotta love yourself, Virgo. Because you're awesome. You're one hell of a catch. You really are. But you gotta love yourself. They popped out just in a loose shuffle. Queen of Cups reversed in Temperance. I didn't even ask the cards a question. You know what? I'm going to leave those out. Just in case they fit in somewhere. Why is the Two of Cups here? For what Virgo needs to focus on during this transition. Tower reverse. Rebuilding. Rebuilding the tower. Two swords reversed. Kind of popped out. Why is the magician reversed here for how to handle the transition of rebuilding the tower? Rebuilding a relationship. Swords reversed. Don't force it. Don't overthink it. <coughs> One more on that. Two of Wands reversed. What? Wait it out? Okay. The cards are saying wait it out. Just see how it plays out. Don't force anything. What do you guys have to tell me? Queen of Cups reversed, Two of Swords reversed, and Temperance in the Upright. Some of you may have thoughts and emotions out of balance, and you're not seeing clearly. Possibly. Because you're stuck, and you can't see what the universe is trying to hand you. Because you don't trust yourself. You need to learn to trust yourself again. Gosh, Virgo, that's amazing. Okay. This is the bottom of the deck I have to say. Six of cups are first. 
High priest reversed. Bad memories from the past may hold you back from a beautiful future if you allow it. You're the one in charge of your journey, Virgo. If you're going to allow bad memories, To stop something like this from coming along because you don't trust your judgment anymore wow is that fair to you I don't think that's fair to you you have to be kinder to yourself Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Reverse, Strength, Reverse, the King of Pentacles. Some of you may well have that communication coming in, that huge apology coming in. It may happen quickly. Don't allow it to drain you. And if it comes back at all imbalanced, just don't even... I mean, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's not my journey, it's yours, but... It may come back slightly imbalanced or with a catch, with strings. Cut the strings. I don't like strings. Take charge. There's an emperor at the bottom of this deck. Take charge. Take charge of your journey, Virgo. <coughs> don't don't let somebody tell you how high and what color. It's your journey. Take charge. Trust yourself. Trust your judgment. You trusted your judgment when you cut somebody off and you moved on. That's huge. The only thing you really got to do is not make the same mistake again. But people work in patterns. People make mistakes. I don't even really believe in mistakes. I believe everything you do sends you down a path. And sometimes your biggest screw-ups in life send you down the path you're supposed to go down. Well, if I hadn't have done that, yeah, and if you hadn't have done that, you wouldn't be where you are. We learn from those pebbles on the path, don't we? We learn. Nine of Cups reversed, Nine of Swords reversed. Somebody's not going to come back in and fill your cup. We're going to fill your cup with crap. Don't let them come back. But it's your journey, not mine. Fill your cup. That emperor is reversed at the bottom of that deck. Hmm. Seven of Wands reversed, the world reversed, Nine of Wands in the upright, and the Five of Swords reversed. Some of you need to lay a burden down and allow a cycle to totally come to an end before you can move on. You haven't quite confronted that. It's taking charge. You got to take charge. I don't even know how much sense this is making at this point. Don't force anything. Wait it out. See what happens. But... You gotta take charge of you is what you gotta do. Take charge of you. Okay. Virgo. Sorry it's so choppy. 
this was a lot of information coming at me all at once. If it resonates, let me know. Leave a comment. You got to share it with a friend, okay? Maybe you got a friend that's going through this. Like, share, subscribe. I don't twist anybody's arm. If you're in need of a personal reading, the information for that is in the About section of the channel. And I am wide open at this point. I am completely caught up. So there's no, like, one to two week wait on that anymore. <laughs> um... And with spring coming, I'm feeling tons better. So, okay. Also, quick reminder before I close out, March 31st, the time will be announced when we figure out what time it's going to occur. But Neon and I, we're going to be coming with a live reading for the change in the Zodiac cycle. Yeah, it'll already be a few about nine days into Pisces at that point, 11 days, something like that. Into Aries, sorry. New year, new cycle. But yeah, so you can come join us for that. It's going to be fun. We haven't decided if we're going to do coffee and scones or Thai food yet, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to check out Virgo. I love you guys. You guys are great. You guys have been some of the biggest supporters over the last year of us here at Fireside and Tarot. And we greatly appreciate everything you've done. Thank you so much for the blessings and the comments and the encouragement. I love you guys to bits. I'll catch you in your next reading.